Good morning everyone, from me to you, and welcome to another Divide et Impera episode with the Realistic Legions mod. Now, last episode, um, it was actually recorded and my mic had turned off. OBS will do that now and then when it records. So, if you want to go check out that battle, it was a two-army versus two-army battle in Genoa. Really good battle. Um, but, anyway... Now, we essentially are going to be pushing on to Medlon, maybe not right at this moment, because we don't know where one of their armies went. They had a full stack up here, and they just kind of disappeared. So, we're going to wait a little bit to get this agent up here, maybe discover them. If we don't discover them next turn, then we'll attack anyway. But, um, we've also got another army. Epirus is hanging out near my settlements, which I do not like very much. They don't like us. Our other client state, Syracuse, broke away from us, so we're waiting for Carthage to inevitably take their city before we go back down and reconquer it, and this time hold on to it. But, yeah, so we are just going to end the turn. But yeah, like I said, um... Actually, I didn't say this. All the battles, the times that they start, are in the description of each video. So if you just want to go and look at all the battles and watch them, feel free to go do that. Um, yeah, the battles in DEI are all pretty entertaining, and I'm specifically playing the replays. And then that gives me a little bit more um, leeway to let you know what's going on in the battle. So, yeah, and maybe get a couple more cinematic shots for you guys. Things like that. Generally, I like watching the battle replays, and that gives me a chance to do so. So I am going to continue drinking my coffee. This is the last cup. I like making myself pour-overs, if you know what those are. Pretty yummy. And make most kinds of coffees taste good. Oh, there's that army. Oh, I guess they'd run off over to the right. Interesting. Well, I think we're going to move our armies here. One second. Let's get through these things. Uh-oh. We're going to attack this guy out of the settlement. And then likely that'll draw out this army, which does have lots of units. We don't know what's in that army right now. How can I be of assistance? Swift and silent. So you a come up here. I'm going to take a look at what they've got. Lots of these phalanx spearmen. Lots of them. That's actually good. These guys are going to be easy to surround. They've got some axe warriors. Those guys are pretty good. They're armor piercing, I believe. Anyway, um... They've got some Veneti hired riders, some mercenary spear ban, some alpine skirmishers. Those are all, um, yeah, those are all mercenaries. And then some Celtic cav, bunch of short swords. Those were not very good when we fought them. And then some skirmishers. Cool. Well, let's. One thing we do need to research is the um, workshop. We're almost to our reforms, too, so we're going to have to research this really quick at some point. We have the workshop already. Hmm. We still have a bonus to our military research, I believe. Yeah, 20%. So how about we do Let's do that. That'll give us some um, upkeep. Save us some money on upkeep. Anyway, we're going to get some farms going so we've got more food. That's your command. And then what else did we want? Oh, we got our um we we should do our politic politicking first. Hmm. Ooh. 
what's the now balanced that's pushing us out of respected praise her we need um, <laughs> we need people in our family who are loyal which person do we attack with we hunger for battle. at once waiting for more orders ready for battle we cannot follow this order why can't you go in there? On the move. Our advance has been halted. Commander, we hunger for battle. Commander. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Advance. At your command. Ready for battle. <gasps> oh, we what I could do. Let the tower before Rome. We hunger for battle. Attack for Rome. All right. Um. Are they still close enough to the city for... Ah, uh, they are. Laying siege to the settlement! At your command. Then... I say we let them attack us. Um, let's hire a unit really quick. All the cavalry's gone. This unit's still pretty um injured. Ready for orders. Anyway. Let's hire them and let's merge you two. You're gonna be Deleted. Then we're going to take on another one of those guys. There are axes. So, we'll have that going very soon. Hmm. It is a naval set settlement, so we'll have to be careful of Carthage's navy up there. But, um, and other things. We're ready to end that turn. So I'm going to guess they're going to attack us. Because they're going to have a big bonus on the balance bar. Now really, I don't know. I, those pirates that are up there? I'm not sure if they are a navy. I think they're a navy. They wouldn't be able to raid like that if they were an army. I don't know if our navy's good enough to take them out yet, because they're taking a lot of money from us. Like, a lot of money. And it's not good. Oh. Syracuse just... I don't know what they do. It looked like they took the settlement. I have talked to a wise woman, and all speak of a treaty. Hmm. And our elders seek... Nah. Probably gonna conquer you eventually. Oh, the Subrace army is gone now. I wonder what they're doing. Oh, here they are. The battle is about to begin. We are going to go another two full stacks against two full stacks. Interesting. Now we're going to place these two armies next to each other if we can. Not going to make that same mistake as um, spreading them out too much. But anyway, um, guys, we are going to watch this on the replay, so I'll be right back. Hello, everyone. We are back, and that was a tough battle. Wow. These um, 40v40 battles, really they had like 44 units, I think. 
but they're pretty tough. They are pretty tough. It was pretty epic, though. The game became very laggy. Um, that's usually when you have more than 10,000 guys on a map, then DEI gets pretty laggy because of how detailed the unit textures are. But, yeah, you'll see this turned out to be a very cool battle. And the um, Phalanx Infantry of the Barbarians is no joke. That first battle, they must just not have had many of them, or they didn't perform very well or something. Because in this battle, jeez, they were tough. Yeah, here's these uh, assault infantry. Oh, no, that's levies. Are they in this army? Yeah, here they are. Anyway, here's the battle. Um, we've got... I was kind of upset about this at first. We had one army deploying on one side of the map and the other army deploying on the complete opposite side. So their army is going to be very aggro though. They'll aggro right onto us. Here's those axe warriors. We can take a quick look at their units really quick. Those are the short swords. I don't think they're very good. Um, it's these phalanx infantry. Here they are. These guys are not bad at all. They hold. They hold for a very long time. So, luckily, once we upgrade to um, to swords, we will do a lot better at fighting them. Um, anyway, where's our? Here's our Salmonite Triarii. Very nice. I'm gonna look at those. Um, here's the. They're mixed with a bunch of guys, but the barbarian looking ones are the mercenary unit we got. These ones, I believe. Venetti. They're axemen. They actually did pretty well. But anyway, the battle is getting started with a charge. Their cav was very annoying, as they usually are. They charged straight into our light infantry. It actually was not good for them at all, for our infantry. Although, potentially, we had some friendly fire issues, too. But, yeah, they're already down almost 100 men. And, yeah, they are attacking us before we are even fully in formation, which wasn't great. As you can see. Um, trying to shoot our tree REI. And over on this other side, this army hasn't been touched yet. But yeah, our battle line is going to be a little bit imperfect now. Um, but here we are. We've got our cab facing off against theirs. Um, Should have microed that a little bit better. And you'll see. But anyway, um, and we've got this army forming up. Although I'm mostly focusing on these guys right now. Anyway, we're about to route one of them. Although now they've got five units of cav now down to four and start three so and they they've run around everywhere so they're hard to take care of um but anyway we we're moving a study a salmonite hasadi unit over to help out a little bit big cav battle happens over here luckily i do have the superior cav but their cav is not bad the celtic cav isn't great but um these, where are they? The Eprida, however you pronounce them, are not bad. But anyway, they <laughs> went right through one of my units to get to these levees. And this, uh, this unit right here, the um, Tyrrhenia Assault Infantry, yeah, they're not doing good. They lost, again, almost a third of their men just one calf charge so and their phalanx infantry starting to come in now and my men are starting to form up originally had a line formed right here as you can see but I was thinking they seem to all be coming and hitting this army right here so I'm gonna instead form up this way um, we've got Lots of fighting going on. Again, they're 
pretty much forming their line with um, mostly phalanx units. And our infantry, which is mostly spears, is going to struggle against them. They're getting another charge into our back. Yeah, this cab was really annoying. They just pretty much decimated our other unit of, the, of those guys. I didn't really figure out which units these were, and their, their shock cab was doing really well against those units. Um, at this point, I decided, all right, time to move my, the bulk of my army over here. If we're going to concentrate most of, if both armies are going to concentrate their forces over here, then I'm going to, I'm going to do it too. But anyway, we're about to route one of their axe warriors units. Um, our javelins are softening up their cav, and we're hitting them in the rear with some of our cav. Now these guys were actually trying to go down here, so the fact that they went through these units, our equite started out nearly a full unit, and they're going to get worn down a lot, and I think we're going to even lose them. But anyway, we've got another line over here, including our phalanx, but they're getting peppered with these short swords javelins. But um, yeah, we are forming up our battle line. I'll show you on the big map. This is how it's going. We're red. So, battle lines formed up. We've got our cav over here trying to focus down their cav units one at a time. We've even got our general. I think this is the general from over here coming over to support our cav now. And then um, we've got lots of infantry over here not being used. And a lot of men back here ready to help shore up this line or even move around eventually if we can. We're going to have to deal with this cav though before we can start to flank them. Anyway, let's get back to the battle. These Tarini assault infantry, I think... I don't think they're actually bad. I think I just let them get hit by cav a lot. So... Of course they're not going to do great when they're hit by a unit they're not very good against. But got our these guys are getting their first real action in this battle. Here come the rest of our cav. Yeah, this is going to take care of them. Anyway, now we're starting to get some units around. There's this huge battle going on. This has over 16,000 troops in it, I think. Maybe even more. This whole battle. Anyway, let's get... Let's get a look down into... Who's our Triarii? Here they are. This is what our Triarii are seeing. Lots of barbarians. And at this point, our units are... They don't have great morale, especially with a lot of these... Um, oh, the Phalanx Spearmen actually broke there. But they've got a lot of Celtic warriors from um, their town coming in. But anyway, these two units down here are going to hold out for a long time. We only had... I didn't realize that we only had levies right here attacking them. But, um... Anyway. Our phalanx is about to get heavy fighting. So this is going to be good. They're attacking it head on with just Celtic tribesmen, too. They're getting hit with javelins, though. Their archers are being pretty annoying. We've got some cav in their back lines, though. Now that we're starting to outflank them, or their left flank is starting to buckle a little bit. So, although it's not good, we are losing a, lo a lot of these support units of ours. The Torini are routing, or about to route. Anyway, they committed their general into the center here. Um, we've got our Samanite Principes trying to take care of them, but they're not going to last very long. 
And again, we've got our Hoppetes, or our um, Phalanges, I guess you should say. Our pikemen dealing with those units over there. So that flank is going to be pretty short up. And we're starting to wrap men around, as you can see right here. Got them wrapped up in a triangle. These are um, skirmishers, too. So their left flank was pretty weak. They had their mercenaries, short sword, and skirmishers all over here. Their center is where most of their um, their phalanx men were. But we've got our cavalry out here trying to take care of all their archers. Um, one unit of extraordinary equites, so the socii ones, and another one of um, just regular equites. And these regular equites pretty much wavered nearly this entire time but I don't think they ever run which is awesome of them anyway our pikemen are repelling these guys our Celtic tribesmen are running we're actually going to move forward but bad news our um, triarii our salmonite triarii are running it's horrible now these guys are about to get hit in the flank by their general and now they're getting hit Side, it's not good for them. Um, so we're going to turn them over, and these Rari are going to come in and try to help uh, restore that situation a little bit. Now over here, we are wrapping them along their left flank. And now this is an important moment. Here, I'll zoom in for this one. Can't tell if it's going to happen right now. Here's our general. See him? Are they about to charge? Hey, you'll get a view of what's going on a little bit. Got um, lots of men running. Their whole back lines are starting to... Oh, you can see the pike phalanx back there. Anyway, the whole pike lines are... Oh, here we go. Watch. Watch our general. He's right there at the front. He just died. Yeah, we lost our general in a pretty bad way. Um, so that's going to cause some of our units to rout. But luckily it happened at a moment where most of their army is close to routing. This is They lose their general here. He is killed. So that's going to pretty much wrap up the rest of these um, Hoplite units. Or the phalanx units, not quite hoplites, but it stinks. We did lose our general. Um, I don't think it was our faction leader because he's in this battle. Um, I believe it was one of the other family members. He was only a level one. Yeah, here's our other general. It doesn't say the name of the man, but it was that would be scary though. But we are wrapping him up now. Um, the rest of their men are about to rout. Now we're just going to chase them around. And try to kill as many of them as we can. So we don't have to deal with them. And there it is. They are fully routed. So overall, pretty chaotic battle day. Not as chaotic as last episodes. Um, but still very all over the place. As 40 unit battles usually are. But we won. We won. Uh, most of the casualties, as you'll see later, were actually taken. Here, we can um, quit the replay now. Anyway, most of our casualties were actually among the, um, the non-Roman units we had. So all of our mercenaries. You'll, you'll be able to see the state of our armies here in a second. We haven't taken the city yet either. I'm letting... I'm saving that for the actual camera because that'll be satisfying. Ah, just taking a sip of coffee. It tastes good. Oh, nice Manchester City one. That is my favorite football team. Soccer, as my fellow Americans like to call it, but I know a lot of my audience comes from the UK and Europe. So. 
football. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, um, our battle went pretty well, as you'll see. Our armies are actually not that low on strength. And once we take the city, we'll actually be able to recruit some barbarian units. So, here are our armies. Oh, that's our... As you can see, most of the casualties were among these guys, which are fine. Um, all of our Roman units are about half strength, but we can recover from that. Just got to run down into the Roman territory. Now for our other army. Um, this one was actually beat up a lot less. So our um, Samonite units are pretty beat up. Our Principes are doing fine though. And our Hastati took nearly no damage. Um, it's our Equites. that, or Those were the Equites that tried to run through their spear units. So yeah. Not great, but let's finish him off. This is all that's left of one of the armies. For yeah, so our gen, our leader is still alive. Let's finish him off, guys. And take a large settlement for ourselves. Awesome. We didn't kill off any units. We lost 200. Oh, it killed off the Equites. Of course it did. <laughs> it always ends up doing that. Now, we're currently going to keep these guys around. They're pretty good, the Venetis, the Venetti units. They do well against armored units because they're axes. Now, I am probably going to loot it. The Insubres are dead. Perfect. Ah, uh, yes. Awesome. Now, this army is definitely going to have to run back when they can. They did level up the actual um, legion, though, which is awesome. Look at that. Let's see what units we can recruit here. You can get Massali and Hoplites. Oh, that's awesome. And Subrian Cav, that's the Cav that was being really annoying, so that could actually be good. Alpine Assault Infantry, we get Ligurian Spearmen, Levies, Javs, and then the Dogs. Well, cool. Uh, let's fix up the settlement. The stables will probably dismantle. They have a storage pit. I'm going to throw a delicatessen in there. Gonna turn that into an allied state. Perfect. Let's make sure those two are close together. Um, in this place, we're probably going to build a temple. What do you wish of me? Anyway. Let's move our spy over. Oh, we're actually low on food. That's not good. Alright, Rome. You're probably going to need to import food. Same with you, Taurus. It's not good. I didn't realize we're low on food like this. In three turns, our food situation will be a little bit taken care of, though. Alright, we're going to need to get these guys moved out in a bit. Um, let's combine some of these units. Um, we'll keep some of them, but levies, let's actually combine. I don't like having five of them. There we go. Alright, and let's... 
Oh, that's right. You have the cav. Maybe get some of these alpine assault infantry. And then some more calf, probably. There we go. We hunger for battle. How can I be so let's steal I some food. Shadow Here's their unit. They've got Venetti warriors. These guys are actually pretty good. Horsemen. They've got They're pretty good as well. Um, spearmen, levy spearmen, those are easy to deal with. Some more levies. Lots of horsemen in this army. We are making 3,000 again though. Perfect. All right. How's our navy looking? We've got three of those big ships. We're probably going to get one more big ship in there. And then some smaller ships after that. So let's see who wants to... Oh, we unlocked... We found some more factions now. Sassatani. No... Good. Well, be welcome. Epirus, and may would you? No. Helvetti, Greetings would you like to trade? To I trust. Yeah. Your offer is. Anyone else? Raid. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with heart. No. Syracuse. Be welcome, and may Hermes no. bless you. All right, that's everyone. Now, Venetti will probably take once those. Once um, these armies are out of the way. Hmm. Alright. Ready for battle. What do we not have enough of in this army? Oh, this one lost one of their cav units. That's right. Let's get one of those in there. Perfect. All right. Well, that's probably good for that. Um, what turn is it? I don't know if I can necessarily see what turn it is exactly. What are the... We need to conquer Hispania. Gaul. Syria, Africa, that should be no problem, and Dacia, interesting, that's what we need to obtain victory, well, let's end the turn, oh, we have someone who can get a skill, one of these guys maybe, yeah, here we are. Let's get that tax rate up. Hmm. I want to get some cultural conversion. More cultural conversion. Let's actually get you up here. We're going to need that cultural conversion if we want to make this, if we want to pacify this province anytime soon. Let's end the turn. There we go. Well, that was a pretty good battle. Like I said earlier, uh, again, we got our legions out um, without taking significant damage. Hopefully one of Venetti's many enemies comes down and 
tries to attack him. Oh, look, there's the rebel army. We're going to have to deal with them soon. Maybe we just go to attack them now, because um, Genoa it could probably be captured just by like a quick stack. Oh, were they just conquered? I think they were. Yeah, they were. Damn. Oh, man. I don't think I can win this. Actually, you might be able to. Oh, they survived. Good. We'll send him down to take care of him next turn. Good. All right. Um. Uh oh. So who took that? The Helvetti. Of course, it's winter. Yeah, we might lose that. Probably deploy him. There we go. Why do we only have one income? It's weird to me. Eight. We have thirteen. Yeah, and they're all normal ships. Venetti. Oh, it's them. They're the ones who showed up there. Do you have any enemies? Actually allied two different factions that's not good I'm not gonna be able to restore this whole area for a while then I wonder what we do about that how are we doing with Everest they don't hate us anymore. They're just unfriendly. Welcome. I throw open the doors to you and bid you enjoy our talks. Hmm. Macedonia, Enter do you want to trade? And no. speak. Well, I guess it's just going to come down to ending the turn. Is there anything we can build? Not really. I don't want to build this and then... Oh wait, no, this is um... Okay, never mind. This is the one I have control over. Let's build it up then. Oh, maybe I should have tried to use my um... Oh yeah, here they go. Are they about to get conquered? If they are, then good for us. We can move down there real shortly. All right. 
hungry dogs are all around. The wise man bars his doors and looks for shield brothers. Mm. What say you? Nah, let's not do that right now. It's interesting we can get Masali and Hoplites. I can see the Helvetii coming to attack us. I can definitely see that happening. Alright, let's go take care of these guys. Let's hope they don't run too far. Ah, oh, perfect. all that much. Perfect. Only a hundred ish. On the move. Sweet. Now they're just down to minus two. Perfect. What do you wish of me? What do you wish of me? Alright, you come up here. That's your command. March. How's your population doing? You've got enough pop to start making people happy there. Good. All right. What? I'm going to check what turn. All right. It's almost turn 40. Let's patrol. Let's move right here. Let's actually move these guys maybe right here. Make haste, men. Is that all? And then patrol. You guys can patrol too. Perfect. I'll make them a little bit happier. I live to serve Rome. How can I serve Rome? Anything else we want to do? Build a couple more Byremes. There we go. It's going to get us to 10. They're still at 13. We'll be able to take them out soon, though, I think. Let's end that turn. Alright, Carthage. Oh, they just landed two armies. Maybe retaking that settlement won't be as easy as we hoped. I wonder if the Etruscans would listen if I set an objective for them, such as Panermos. Panormos, I guess is how you say it. Oh, there goes one of their navies. They could probably take Syracuse right now if they wanted. The hungry no. dogs are all I understand you're weak, and I understand you want allies, but I don't want to. I don't want to sign non-aggression with you. Oh, they are trespassing. <laughs> I do really want to take Patapium. Their army is like super weak. Technically, I would have a Cassus Belli on them for marching into my lands like that.
our pop doing up here? Commander. A little bit better. It's time to merge some of these units. Because I think we can do better. We have one, maybe we get some of them. It is a great and glorious thing to die for Rome. We only have three skirmishers, so we wanted them too. At your command. Up here, they're doing all right. We could probably very easily take that. At your command. Ready for orders. We hunger for battle. Actually, let's cancel this. Bring them up here. Your next command. Let's put our spy up here too. As you command. Ready for orders. Oh, they do have a At hidden army up here. Swift and silent. A shadow among shadows. We hunger for Yeah, battle. this army's a bit weak. Make haste, men. How can I be of assistance? Can we sabotage them? I do enjoy a little. Oh, sabotage. we weren't able to try. All right, let's get those units. Commander. This army's going to come over here. Ready for further order. Hmm. Ready for orders. We attack them next turn, I think. Let's patrol so we get a little more replenishment. I live to serve Rome. And then. He, yeah, go in there. Make him a little bit happier. Ten. We've got. Ten ships. I think we could win this naval battle. Yeah, we could definitely win that naval battle. So the next episode, actually, hmm. Let's move him down here. And they are raiding. What does that give them? I don't really want to try to attack them yet. Commander. I think I'll do it next turn with all of these guys. What turn is it? Though? Can I see how many turns I'm in? Let's look at the politics really quick. They're at minus eight. Because of the... Oh wait, no, it should be them. Yeah, so their general won a bunch of battles, which makes them happy. He also died, which didn't make them that unhappy. Uh, these guys love us. Interesting. Well, let's...
see what turn it is really quick on that auto save feature. Oh, we're so close. Let's go to the next turn, and maybe one more turn after this, we'll get our upgrades. I don't want to rush it, though. Oh, they're besieged. They are besieged. All I ask is a treaty. I am not yeah. proposing marriage now, am I? <laughs> there will be no Haridan mothers-in-law. <laughs> I love the Greeks in this. They're funny. Can you give me some money? Yeah, cool. They'll give me a little bit of cash for it. So I would be happy to accept that. Epirus, are you going to go down and help us fight? you are that would be much appreciated Honestly, though, if we could get our reforms to come, that would be awesome. Research. Wants us to find something in economy. It's this one. We do need the... Yeah, we do need the extra food. So that's probably a good shout for now. Now, I don't actually think I'll attack them right now. Good, they're all, um, gaining. All gaining everything back, which is perfect. Their men back, I should say. So I don't think I'm going to attack them right now. I'm going to stabilize Medlan really quickly, and then... I'll, I would like to attack them after my reforms come, which should be in one more turn. So let's just rush it really quick. Um, do you not hate us anymore? Minus 38. I give you greeting and my attention for the next few minutes. Make your case, but without a lawyer's tedium. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna stay next to Cassentia. Unless they move out. And we... I don't really want to fight that right now, so we're going to save it for next episode, because we don't really have time to fight another battle like that. But we will go to the next turn, because we've got our reforms coming, and I really want to, I really just want to get to that. So, here we are. Let's get those reforms. Oh, I wish I could see if Carthage took Syracuse or not. I don't like having that army just not really doing anything. Oh yeah, Syracuse are going down. Not Syracuse, Epirus. That army right there is probably low on supplies. Unless they can get supplies from their client state benefactor they might be able to if they can we will see but we're going to be getting our reforms so we're going to 
We need all the money we have for that. Oh, their army just moved out. Did they get declared war on or something? Hmm. Children died. That's not good. Did we not level up? What happened to our. We're at turn 40. What's going on here? Imperium 3. Hmm. That's strange. How can I I do enjoy a well kept ledger? Oh, shoot. Ready for battle. At once. Ready for battle. March. Can't quite reach it. Alright, um... I guess we'll wait one more turn? They really should be coming, though. It's weird that they're not. Let's see what happens there. Ooh, they've got elephants in this army. Kind of dangerous. At once. It's going down every turn. We'll advance one more turn. Um, to be quite honest, I just want to see us get the. We'll get that shrine really quick. But I also want to see us get the, um, the reforms. Because <laughs> we are Imperium 3. Here, let me check something really quick. I want to make sure I have a mod that I have going. Um, I think I do. Pretty sure I have it going. But we'll see. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, I actually just learned something. So the mod that I have downloaded, it actually, um, so what it does is on, if you go to your tech, let's go to that technology, you see on the reforms it says Polybian requirements, Imperium, Three, turn 40 and then Marian requirements turn 100 Imperium 5 and then later you got um Imperial units but we won't look at those because that's super far away but basically what the mod does is what I thought it did is that it took out the Imperium requirements because with the Marian requirements um, it's difficult to get to Imperium 5 by turn 100 and it's more fun when it's kind of just a set turn kind of makes it a little bit more historical um, but what I realized is the mod takes away the Imperium requirements but it also sets the turn requirements a little bit further so this whole time we thought the Polybian requirements would be turn 40 I looked at the mod and it's actually turn 50 so we've got a couple more turns we need to wait so um, this might change our plans a little bit um, it won't matter though I think soon we're gonna go after um, Patavium and Octoduron um, just completely wipe out the Helveti if we can if they don't move their armies back let's take a look at the 
at the diplomacy for them. I want to see, did they move their armies out because they were just attacked? No, they've only got the Sequani attacking them, which are up here. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. But we are going to get this attack going um, for the next episode. Oh, they're running. They're running. Might even be able to auto resolve it, I wonder. Moving out. Yeah, come here, you pirates. No, we won't be able to auto resolve it. We'll have to attack them. They've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. And we've got 10. But five of our ships are going to absolutely. They're going to pretty much one shot each of these ships they have they don't really have any good ships they're all very small ships so anyway pretty much all of our ships are going to destroy them so we'll have to see um you'll be able to see this next episode so i'm gonna save it really quick it's 268 winter turn and guys i look forward to seeing you next time